So guys, today the blog post breaking down all the perks for the Brave Arsenal weapons coming in the Into the Light update is now live. Going to be going over all the perks that can be found on all of the updated and returning weapons here in this video. So as always, if you enjoy, be sure to leave a like and hit that subscribe button if you haven't done so already as it's free to do and really does help me out here a ton. We're also getting super close now to 1000 subscribers, so any support there would be very much appreciated. Guys, all of these weapons look insanely cool and have some very strong perk combinations so we're going to jump right on into it starting off here with forbearance in the third column of perks it can get unrelenting stats rule demolitionist ambitious assassin surplus steady hands and disruption break followed by in the next column wellspring golden tricorn one for all bait and switch chain reaction rampage and desperate measures which seems to be that brand new perk that they talked about in yesterday's live stream this new perk is basically just a souped up stackable version of golden tricorn so there's some expectations for that one to be pretty darn good uh, for forbearance here though it does come with ambitious and chain reaction so that really strong role still persists and that's probably the role that most people are going to be going after next up here we have succession which in the third column starts off with moving target no distractions lead from gold reconstruction firmly planted demolitionist and discord followed in the fourth column by snapshot sites redirection recombination vorpal weapon focused fury firing line box breathing and desperate measures there once again similar to forbearance the succession also comes back again with its god roll from its previous incarnation with the reconstruction vorpal weapon or focus fury you can also get firing line there now though which is very very good can't remember if it could originally get firing line i don't think it could so that's some neat changes there fallen guillotine is next up and in the third column it can get vorpal weapon relentless strikes repulsor brace frenzy attrition orbs chain reaction and duelists trance Followed by Surrounded, Whirlwind Blade, Destabilizing Rounds, Eager Edge, Bait and Switch, Sword Logic, and Desperate Measures. So if you are lacking a uh, slammer, I want to get a cool Bait and Switch Vortex Frame Sword. Fallen Guillotine is going to be there waiting for you. Moving on now to one of the most exciting returning weapons here, the Recluse. In the third column, it has Feeding Frenzy, Enlightened Action, Subsistence, Threat Detector, Repulsor Brace, Hip Fire Grip, and Dynamic Sway Reduction, followed by a slightly nerfed master of arms target lock frenzy destabilizing rounds surrounded tap the trigger and desperate measures very cool perks there master of arms feeding frenzy still persists on this weapon so if you want the og recluse roll it's there for you to take advantage of now we go on to the mountaintop which i'm pretty sure everyone's going to be using because this thing's perks are insane first starting off here with ambitious assassin which is disgusting impulse amplifier as well Followed by Demolitionist, Lead from Gold, Slick Draw, Auto Looting Holster, another great one, alongside Overflow. Oh my god, they do not care at all about Power Creep. Followed in the fourth column by Rampage, Vorpal Weapon, Adrenaline Junkie, One for All, Harmony, Recombination, and Frenzy. Oh my lord, Mountaintop is stacked, guys. You will want to get this weapon. Bro, Ambitious Assassin on this thing is going to be disgusting. Oh my days. Come ahead next up we have feeding frenzy destabilizing rounds envious assassin rampage fourth times the charm rewind rounds and under over followed in the fourth column by surrounded high impact reserves target lock onslaught killing tally desperate measures and tap the trigger bro they they don't care all these weapons are so good having onslaught on a machine gun is crazy you can also stack that with rampage and even have rampage killing tally which they showed in yesterday's live stream blast furnace next up here third column zen moment snapshot shoot to loot keep away perpetual motion kinetic tremors and head seeker or in the fourth column by kill clip firefly one for all frenzy rampage rapid hit and desperate measures pretty good pulse rifle there head seeker gonna be good for pvp you've also got dragonfly for uh, pve there pretty darn good edge transit the meme now comes back and is literally going to be the best grenade launcher for most people in the game third column here starts off with chain reaction cascade point impulse amplifier field prep ambitious assassin envious assassin and repulsor brace and then in the fourth column you got frenzy destabilizing rounds deconstruction one for all bait and switch full court and explosive light they just really turned edge transit into an absolute beast which i am fully happy with Luna's Howl now uh, in the third column, Eye of the Storm, Subsistence, Discord, Encore, Slide Shot, Enlightened Action, and Heal Clip. 
followed in the fourth column by a slightly reworked Magnificent Howl, Kill Clip, Incandescent, Desperate Measures, Opening Shot, Precision Instrument, and Harmony. One quick note to note about Luna's Howl is that it is a 140 RPM hand cannon, but it has the 180 uh, precision frame kind of recoil pattern. So that's a quick note to remember for that one. Midnight Coup coming in with Outlaw, Firefly, Shoot to Loot, Explosive Payload, Moving Target, Attrition Orbs, and Enlightened Action there in the first column, followed in the fourth column by Rampage, Kinetic Tremors, Zen Moment, One for All, Frenzy, Opening Shot, and Desperate Measures. Very good rolls there. Probably going to be looking for that Firefly Kinetic Tremors roll that was shown off in the first live stream. And then we end off here with Hung Jury getting rewind rounds, enlightened action, kinetic tremors, rapid hit, shoot to loot, no distractions, and loose change in that third column. Followed by one for all, cascade point, box breathing, firefly, precision instrument, desperate measures, and explosive payload. And then finally, Elsie's rifle, the returning Destiny 1 Stranger's rifle coming in with feeding frenzy, zen moment, repulsive race, loose change, keep away, under over, and rewind rounds. Finally followed by Adrenaline Junkie, Frenzy, Destabilizing Rounds, Kill Clip, Desperado, Desperate Measures, and Edge Seeker. And that is it for this breakdown of all the weapons. Guys, all of these sound really, really strong, especially Mountaintop there. Very excited to get my hands on these weapons. Once I do, I'll have separate reviews for most of the weapons that stand out here. Uh, so be sure to stay subscribed so you do not miss out on those videos. But yeah, guys, leave your thoughts on the rolls. Uh, what are you looking out for most when the update drops and all that good stuff? Uh, but that's it for me today so if you've enjoyed leave a like subscribe and i'll catch you guys in the next one